35 miles per hour in and around the New York City area. They could gust as high as 50 to 55 miles per hour. So naturally, that does increase the risk of power outages when you think about just how wet the ground is. That could topple some power lines, also creating delays at the airports, too. It's part of this area of low pressure that is pulling away, but on the back side of it, some cold air is surging in. So we do have some snow, especially up across central and northern New England in the uh, mountains where we picked up about 12 inches of snow over the weekend. We still could see an additional a couple inches of snow, but the wind is going to be the major issue as we go through the day today, Savannah. All right, Dylan, thank you very much. In the Northeast, speaking of Zana's uh, airport delays, we are looking for winds to gust up to around 50 miles per hour, and it's already kind of happening. Record high temperatures are possible through the northern and central plains. We have very dry conditions, low humidity, and also those warm temperatures and windy conditions across the southern plains. That increases the fire risk. And out in the Pacific Northwest, we are looking for another storm system to bring more moisture on shore, and that could lead lead to some rain from Washington to Oregon and into northwestern California, too. That's a look at the weather across the country. We'll get to your local forecast in the next 30 seconds.